Hey guys, welcome back to Civil Learning Online. And today in this video, I am going to discuss about Jacobi's iteration method, which is also known as Gauss Jacobi's iteration method. So in this video, first of all, I will discuss about the working rule for the Jacobi's iteration method. Later, we will dive into a numerical, which will be based upon the Jacobi's iteration method. So without any further delay, let's get started. So guys, let's begin the solution of this problem and here I am going to use uh, solve this problem using the Gauss Jacobi's iteration method which is also known as Jacobi's iteration method. Uh, there is no any differences and the problem which we are going to see in this uh, video is the same problem what I have solved using the Gauss Seidel method. And there is slight difference between the Gauss Seidel method and the Jacobi's iteration method or the simply Jacobi's iteration method. So guys, let's begin the solution of this problem and here the problem is same which I have solved using the Gauss Seidel method, link is in the description, you can watch that video also, this is same problem and here I am going to use the Gauss Jacobi's iteration method which is also known as Jacobi's iteration method to solve this numerical problem. So before solving this problem, there are few things which we need to look in the problem whether the question is solvable using the Gauss Jacobi's Gauss iteration method or not. For that, we have to check for the diagonal dominance property. What is diagonal dominance property? See here. Uh, in the first row, we have the coefficient of x27 or the magnitude of x27 which is greatest of all the the sum of the rem coefficient of remaining two variables means 27 is greater than 6 plus 1 we i am not considering here the negative sign because uh, we we need to consider only the magnitude means the how, what is how much coefficient it is carrying disregarding the uh, signs so here we have 27 27 is greater than 6 plus 1 it is greater so it is okay now in the second equation we have 54 is greater than 1 uh, coefficient of x and coefficient of y. 54 is greater than 1 plus 1, 2. It is okay. Similarly, coefficient of y. We have checked for coefficient of x, coefficient of z and coefficient of y. Now, for coefficient of y. Coefficient of y. 15 is greater than 6 plus 2, 8. So, here, uh, if I have point out some points also, you can read it out uh, by simply the pausing the video. See here, we have working rule. Uh, this a1, a12, a13 represents the uh, elements of its raw uh, or the coefficient of the different variables similarly we have uh, a21 a22 a23 and if we ha we have the coefficient in this form see here what we have a11 means uh, coefficient of first first raw first column must be greater than the sum of the coefficient of other two variables that is a12 a13 sum must be less than a11 okay similarly we are not considering the sign here simply adding the numbers okay similarly for a a22 a22 means coefficient of y must be greater than the coefficient of uh, a21 means coefficient of x and coefficient of z in second row similarly in third row the coefficient of z must be greater than the sum of coefficient of x and coefficient of y now for working rule if i am going to explain you the working rule further then for here while after checking it we do not need to show this while solving the numerical it is just computed in our mind which i already told you and i have shown you recently uh, at the beginning of the video now what we need to do uh, we need to rewrite these equations in the form of x i am going to so explain it further uh, in this numerical here and for iteration what we need to do is we have to proceed taking x equals to 0 y equals to 0 and z equals to 0 okay this is difference between the jacobi's iteration method and gauss seidel method okay uh, in the gauss seidel method what we did we uh, took y not equals to 0 z not equals to 0 and put it uh, in the x okay for getting the value of x and when we got the value of x we use the recent value of x for in in equation for solving for y and after getting the value of x and y we put that value for in uh, while solving for z but here what we need to do is we need to uh, take all the initial value x note y note z note equals to 0 if uh, it is not given in the question means if initial value initial iteration values are not given then we will proceed taking x not equals to 0 y not equals to 0 z not equals to 0 now let's solve this problem further 
so I am going to rewrite this these equations here. So, rewrite the equations. So, rewrite the equation what we need to do is we have to uh, write it accordingly means the in first row first first equation coefficient of x must be greater greatest z equals to 85. Similarly, we have to interchange these two equations. So, that uh, in the in second equation coefficient of y will be greater than other two variables 6 x plus 15 y plus 2 z equals to 72. Similarly, we have x plus y plus 54 z equals to 110. Now, we will write here solution solution and after writing the solution we will write here solving or rewriting re writing the equations for x y and z we will have here for writing it for x we will have here 85 minus 6 y just to bring the other terms to other side of equals to means here 6 y is positive so it will be minus 6 y and z is negative so plus z and this whole divide by 27 means here the 7 is 27 multiple with x so i have divided this similarly for y we will have here 72 minus uh, 6 x minus 2 z and this whole divide by 15. Similarly, for z we will have here z equals to 110 110 minus x minus y and this divide by 54. Okay. Now, we will proceed the initial first iteration and the first iteration we will take x not equals to 0 y not equals to 0 and z not equals to 0 so i am going to write here use this portion for iterations so we have iteration 1 for iteration 1 we will take x not equals to 0 y not equals to 0 and z not equals to 0 so here we will do x 1 equals to 1 by 27 times 85 minus 6 times 0 plus z, z in place of z we will put it 0. So, on solving this we will get the value of x1 equals to 3.1481. You can take it up to 3 decimal place or 4 decimal place. It is up to you if not mentioned in the problem. Uh, in the question so in y1 for y1 we will take 1 upon 15 times 72 minus 6 times in place of x we will put uh, 0 minus 2 times z so i hope you are you might have noticed the differences in gauss seidel what we have done we why what we would have done is in place of x we will would have used this value but in Jacobi's iteration method we will take this x not equals to 0 y not equals to 0 and z not equals to 0 so again z1 equals to 1 upon 1 upon 54 times 110 minus 0 minus 0 on solving this we will get the value of z1 equals to 2.0370 okay now for iteration 2 For iteration 2 we have we need to put we need to put put x1 equals to 3.1481 y1 equals to 4.8 and z1 equals to 2.0370 okay, we will have here for iteration 2 x2 equals to 1 upon 27 times 85 minus 6 times x1 in place of y we have to put 4.8 plus 
2.0370 so we will get x2 equals to 2.1569 similarly we have y2 y2 equals to 1 upon 15 times 72 minus 6 times 3.1481 minus 2 times 2.0370 so on solving this we will get the value of y2 equals to 3.2692 similarly we have z2 equals to 1 upon 54 times 110 minus 3.1481 minus 4.8 we will get z2 equals to 1.8898 now we will do the third iteration so we will have here x3 equals to 1 upon 27 times 85 minus 6 times 3.2692 plus 1.8898 we will get 2.4916 similarly we have x4 someone say y3 sorry y3 equals to 1 by 15 times 72 minus 6 times 2.1569 minus 2 times 1.8898 so we will get 3.6852 similarly z3 equals to 1 by 54 times 110 minus 2.1569 minus 3.2692 we will get 1.9365 okay for iteration 4 now 4 iteration 4 for iteration 4 what we will do see here we are not getting the value close we will stop doing iteration when we when the two iteration in two iteration we will get the same value of x y and z we have not got yet now so we will uh, do for iteration 4 for iteration 4 we will use this value this value of x3 y3 and z3 so we have here x3 equals to 2.4916 y3 equals to 3.6852 and z3 equals to 1.9365 so we have here x4 equals to 1 upon 27 times 85 minus 6 times 3.6852 plus 1.9365 <coughs> we will get 2.4009 similarly y4 and z4 so this is for iteration 4 we have still not got the value similar uh, in iteration 3 and iteration 4 so we will move for iteration 5 now so here we have we have done iteration 5 in iteration 5 also the value is varying uh, of x y and z so again we will do for iteration 6 in iteration 6 again we will use x5 equals to 2.4315 y5 equals to 3.5833 and z5 equals to 1.9269 so we will have here x6 equals to so here again in iteration 6 we are getting the values which is not uh, matching with the values of uh, iteration 5 it is varying uh, so again we will do iteration 7 and in iteration 7 we will use x6 equals to 2.4232 uh, y6 equals to 3.5704 and y z6 and z6 equals to 1.9256 okay so we have x7 equals to x7 equals to here uh, the value is varying 
little by little means uh, in iteration 8 we may get the value similar to uh, means we, we may get exact value in iteration 8. So, let us check for iteration 8 now. So, I am going to use this portion for iteration 8 see here iteration 8 for iteration 8 we will use the value what we have got in uh, iteration 7 that is x 7 equals to 2.4260. Uh, y 7 equals to 3.5739 and Z 7 equals to 1.9260. We will find X 8, Y 8 and Z 8. So, on doing so we have 1 upon 27 times 85 minus 6 times 3.5739 plus 1.9260 we will get 2.425 again 1 upon 15 times 72 minus 6 times 2.4260 minus 2 times 1.9260 we will get here uh, 3.5728 similarly for z we have 1 upon 54 times 100 10 minus 2.4260 minus 3.5739 on solving this we will get z8 equals to 1.9259 which is which will be uh, approximately equals to 1.9260 on doing round off means we have got the value of iteration 7 and 8 exact as it is so this is the end of this numerical i hope you enjoyed this lecture and uh, learned how to do jacobi's iteration method see you in the next video till then stay safe and take care of yourself and guys if you are enjoying the content on civil learning online channel then do like this video suggest this video channel with your friends share this video with your friend and uh, see you bye